Hey guys, it's me again, I'm back in the man cave. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick look at uh, my Aris 2000 gimbal that I talked about that's uh, just arrived from China. Well, say just arrived, I've had it a couple of weeks now and I had a bit of a chance to play around with it and put it on the bo bottom of my uh, um, 330 flame wheel. Um, this is the box it came in. Uh, didn't get a lot in the box really, got some extra mounts for it. Um, and interestingly, it came with a CD. Um, when they build them, they test flight every single one, and they send you a CD with a, um, you know, some on-camera flight footage, whatever, um, from your actual gimbal, which is quite cool. Nice little touch. Um, actually got mine now um, I'm filming this with a GoPro so there's a space there where my GoPro lives um, I've got it in this uh, Pele case I think I am actually starting to develop a bit of a Pele case um, obsession but that's a whole nother story um, so I've got it in here um, it comes with a little velcro strap to hold your GoPro to it um, it's, it's actually worth mentioning I, I cocked up when I ordered it you can buy an extra little carbon fiber bracket to attach it to the gimbal which is like ten dollars or something and I didn't really realize when I was ordering it and uh, consequently I haven't got it so I've got this velcro strap which they sent um, anyway let's get it out of this uh, case and I'll give you a bit of a look at it right we're back with a camera that will actually focus now so you might be able to get a little bit of a better idea of what's going on I've got this um, GoPro mount uh, on the bottom there that I've sort of not bodged on I've attached to the top of that and then there's my flame wheel though it's not here but there's I've got the opposite clip if you like um, which is kind of like I don't know whether you can see I've got my GoPro up there sometimes so I've got that on the bottom of the um, of the 330 and it, it means I can just detach it really quickly um, if I don't want to fly with the with a gimbal and then I've got a power supply and then control for the tilt on that one um, so I've just got those two wires coming off the 330. What I thought I'd do as well, while I've, while I've got this out, um, I've got a Zenmuse um, here to go on my next project, which I'm very excited about. This little pile of goodness here. I've been slowly collecting bits over the weeks to put this all together. So I've got an F550, um, a couple of LiPos, uh, I've got a little remote switch thing there, I've got a whole nother set of LEDs, very exciting. Um, I've got a, an Optima 9 receiver, um, various bits of Velcro, um, and I've got a V2, very excited about all this. So this is going to be my next video, I've been, um, it's been killing me actually. I've had all this, most of this stuff for weeks now and I haven't had time to build it. So I've got a day off today. So I thought I'd do a little bit of video edge and um, I'm gonna at least make a start um, putting this 550 together. Some of you might be interested in my um, attempt at building it. We'll see. Anyway, um, back to what I was gonna say. Uh, so I've got the Aris 2000, which I bought uh, for my 330 um, I was so impressed with it I started looking at um, these um, Zenmuse it's called I think yeah Zenmuse H3 2D H3 being Hero 3 um, 2D I guess being it you know it's got two axes of um, stabilization so in the box I'm not really into unboxing videos but you get some sort of lead um, and then inside I thought it might might be cool to just put them side by side 
so you could see what the difference was you get two sets of anti vibration rubber things um, you get a what is that then GCU V1 oh that's like the the power supply thing for it for the CAN bus um, and then you get them well you get two bits that's the mount that bolts to the bottom of your um, multi-rotor and then you get this which is this is just this is pornography as far as I'm concerned it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so simply made it's sort of simple and beautiful um, two brushless motors uh, when the um, GoPro is attached to it which I'm using to film now so I can't actually attach it and show you but it, it the GoPro gets its power supply from uh, from the mount itself and then there's a little um, aluminium mount that goes over the top of the GoPro it just looks so neat and so trick and there's you know there's no wires hanging out anywhere it's absolutely gorgeous and if you compare it to the um, the RS2000 now you know they're gonna I think give the same footage I don't think there's gonna be a huge amount of difference in terms of the quality of the footage and the beauty with the RS2000 I think is it's got its own um, brushless gimbal control board built in so all it needs is power so you could kind of mount it to anything really and it you know it would it would do its thing so I think that's a definite plus point for the for the RS2000 but I just I love this Zenmuse thing and because I'm using the um, that flight control god my mind's gone blank the the, the V2 um, what is it? NASA V2. Jesus, I'm losing my mind. Because um, I'm using NASA G V2 with it, it just, it was, I think, the right thing to do to get this. Because I'm, the idea is I'm building a, um, my first FPV jobby. So I've got this 550. And then over here, I've got, uh, I've got this mount, um, this undercarriage, which came with the, um, came with the, the RS2000 gimbal from Hobby King. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And you see, I've got that mount there ready to go on. So I'll be able to attach my um, 550 on and off that. So I can fly the 550 with or without the um, sort of FPV setup. And then the, the Zen Muse is going to go on the front there. But you'll see this getting built, I'm sure. Um, anyway, so that's it. So that's the comparison. I'm going to slap in some uh, video from this bad boy now so you can see what it flies like. Um, I've had one little fly with it already and the results were pretty impressive I've got to say um, it's my first experience of this kind of thing so I suppose I'm easily impressed but I love it I think it's awesome anyway have a look at the video see what you think uh, subscribe most of my stuff say subscribe most of my stuff isn't this kind of stuff you know I, I repair motorbikes for a living so um, this is just extra stuff I put on my channel just to show that I have some sort of life. Um, anyway, subscribe. Um, I try and answer or respond to all the comments. So if you want to ask questions or whatever, I'll, I'll try and get to them. Um, cool. Thanks for watching.